Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to the jungle. Uh, here in my new place in Cancun. I finally feel comfortable, uh, and I uh, like it's a really great energy uh, just to be in. Uh, it's a great energy to read from. I already shuffled quite a bit, so I'm ready to go with the deck. Um, so, Soul Family Read, whoever resonates, um, think Terrence McKenna, uh, find others. So here kind of include myself a little bit in the read, which is odd because I don't uh, normally read for myself. It's kind of a thing. <laughs> uh, once in a while, I will, and it's always heavy. Uh, but I don't know, I have Taurus in the ninth house. It's kind of a Taurus kind of traditional energy. So maybe that's where I get traditional, uh, like with my tarot. It's a little funny about the tarot cards and how I take care of them. And, uh, I'm usually not, I'm sad, kind of like, uh, whatever. Not fussy, not a fussy guy. So, uh, kind of the theme this week, I think, is the new moon and uh, in Scorpio, the scorpionic depths, you know, Pluto, eighth house, uh, uh, the moon and the sun, conscious and the unconscious uh, come together. I think of the new moon, you know, with the whole lunar cycle, it's kind of like the breathing of the world, you know, once you kind of get in touch with this on the Cancer moon, and I kind of have a sense now. I, kind of predict what are going to be the most emotionally stable days, which oddly are Capricorn and Aquarius for me. It's like five days as the moon goes two and a half days through sign, uh, where I tend to feel, uh, generally speaking, all things being equal, um, a little more solid. But it's like the breathing in and the breathing out over a month of the whole world. And you know, it's like the new moon is the breathing in. It's the darkness. It's, you know, I guess it's manifestation, they always say, because it's when we're going to really think about, we're, you know, uh, the moon and the sun are conjunct, the conscious and the unconscious, the masculine, the feminine, um, the body and the soul are, are together. Um, and maybe that's a great time when we're fully together where we can maybe manifest. Uh, but it seems to me um, it's... If anything, it's like a quiet time, you know, um, a prayerful time, maybe, quiet time, reclusive time, the new moon. I mean, it's dark, but it's in, wow, with Scorpio, <laughs> there's no getting out of it, folks. I mean, this is going to go go deep, you know. If you're a Libra and you don't want to go in the basement, this is a bad time of year for you, <laughs> right out of the chute. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit like that, you know, sad, you know, Jupiter, we, we don't like Bummer either, um, and and it's too bad Scorpio often does equal that, uh, but, you know, these are depths of feelings too, so for me, I got to tell you, you know, it's at 12 degrees Scorpio, guys, that's important, wherever Scorpio is in your chart, I'm an astrologer, get a reading if you don't know, because um, it's a big deal, for me, it's exactly on my Scorpio Venus, this new moon. Um, and I'm not afraid of it. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, um, I got Pluto on the AC, um, square Mars and Mercury, so, you know, I see. <laughs> so uh, I'm used to this kind of energy. It's what I live for, you know. Um, you know, I say go soul or go home, you know, go deep or, you know, go watch TV or something, right? Um, so I love it. Um, it's what love is all about, you know, to really search the depths of, uh, a lot of times of my own emotions. Uh, with this reading too, the Soul Family read, I want to read more uh, for spirituality, manifestation, less, less about love and romance. So often the readings tend to be internal about what's going on just with us, you know. I'd like this to be a good reading that's for light workers, you know, energy workers. Uh, I'd love to do uh, astrology for you guys. I did, when I was first learning, I, the universe, you know, I. I didn't realize what I got into, but I asked a friend who's a psychic on a site in England, a pretty big site, and, you know, uh, hey, I'd like to do, you know, your chart. So I did, uh, just for free, I was trying to learn, and I knew she was a, a real psychic. So I said, what does a real psychic look like? You know, that was one of the, once I understood my own chart, so 50 people ended up coming from that group, at least one after another it was months of work with these psychics and energy workers and healers and i gotta tell you it was the most amazing experience of my life now a lot of what was going on for me was just astrology 
uh, how I learned Sagittarius hands-on. And once I had their chart, you know, I would spend sometimes days, days, researching and making notes and working their chart till I had something figured out uh, every much as I could make of it. You know, it's like uh, Stephen Arroyo says, to astrology, you can only bring the depth of your own wisdom, you know, uh, as that's the weakness and the strength of an astrologer. The chart's a language going to say what it says, but interpreting that, we can only do that to our own depth. So I always pray in these readings, Spirit, allow me to be the hollow bone and let me give these readings with some real depth, you know, uh, never seeking to simply just describe the situation we're in, but in the name of love and light, so it serves the highest good here to always uh, be looking towards our spiritual journey, um, connections, our manifestations in this life. So here we go, guys. Six of Pentacles. This is where we're at right now, around spiritual, spirituality and manifestation. The energy of the Six of Pentacles. This is a wonderful energy, balanced. Um, you know, I mentioned it's, it could be a difficult time for Libras. Um, this energy, going into the Scorpio period, let's be clear. You know, in not fortunately fortunately not many of us are basket cases and if we are it's okay we all need to be basket cases sometimes this is scorpio seasons it's really going to go deep for you and you're going to be just slayed open by this and something amazing will come out of it but coming into this with this energy we're good you know um we're we're like we're, we're like sailing through the seas they might get a little rough we got this we can handle it um we're approaching things in a balanced way. Um, I like the Six of Pentacles. I mean, it's on the way with the Six of Pentacles energy in terms of manifestation. We're just balanced. We're living our life. It's, it's personal energy. It's six. It's work. It takes some effort, you know. Uh, but what I like about it is that it's personal. It's Mars. That's been my theme too lately with Mars. Um, you know, personal action, personal responsibility. And this shows we got it going on in a pretty good place, you know, pretty solid place realistically. Now, this is what's blocking us. This is the blocking position. We'll take that as advice as to what's blocking us. This is about cooperation. In this deck, the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck, this card, normally to me, it's a good worker card, you know, uh, but they really emphasize this collaboration with this deck, guys. You can see them. They're definitely collaborating together, talking about what they're doing, some project, um, and it's Pentacles. So uh, this Six of Pentacles is our energy, So, and I can totally relate to this. Uh, Herculean personal efforts uh, to balance ourselves, integrate ourselves, heal, to grow, have led us into uh, an energy of being able to hold our own, uh, being solid in our foundation, and uh, just feeling really balanced, and I'd, I'd say peaceful with this the Six of Pentacles. And this is coming up as a challenge because now it's like the Six of Pentacles is like a, a classic comfort zone and it's a spiritual comfort zone because, you know, it took a lot of work to get here and it and it does feel really good. Um, you know, when you're used to being in a Five of Pentacles energy of lack mentality and not being good enough and you get to that Six of Pentacles, it feels like Ten of Pentacles to you. You know, um, and you're comfortable just sitting there, I think. And this is telling us we're going to need to get out and collaborate and mix it up with the world. Not just collaborate, interact with the world. There's an energy, too, with the Six of Pentacles that pick up, too, like uh, the Hermit energy. Um, but it's a necessary, Hermit's necessary. It's, it's, uh, we have to get balanced in ourselves, right? Um, and a Zen master once said, what, what earthly good does anyone think will come from unenlightened people leading and directing other unenlightened people? <laughs> and that, that's basically the world we have. We have 
unenlightened people leading most of the unenlightened people. It's a miracle we do as good as we do. Nine of Pentacles, wow. And this, uh, this is the advice from Spirit. Now, coming in after the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles and the advice from Spirit here for spirituality, for manifestation, for love and relationship energy, we're going to be solid in ourselves. Um, and I, I think, too, like, i got to show all these together now. So there could be, I know for me, I'll say for me, like, include myself in this reading, I kind of feel like I don't want to give up anything right now. I fought really hard. I had sun uh, square the nodes and, and natal and my dissolution of self. I need to shine. And I, I don't want to collaborate. I really don't want to collaborate. Uh, so I'm trying to see this be open about it because one of the things about the spirituality I need to be open to what's the right thing to do what does spirit want me to do need me to do for my soul's growth you know um, so you take the helm lightly I guess what I'm saying um, but I think with this being the advice from spirit it's almost like some kind of reassurance to me David you know you're not gonna lose anything you're not going to lose anything by by working with others and collaborating because this is totally being yourself being solid being secure being self-contained you know the happy bachelor happy bachelorette the nine of pentacles and i take this as serious any as any placement in this deck that's one this is advice from spirit i always take that to heart i feel like that's where i know spirit wants to help me it's pro noria the universe is conspiring to pull us closer to God. I mean, um, uh, to evolve us. It's uh, inexorable. So, wow. In the bottom of the deck, I have to bring in, because now I see it, is the Six of Wands. Thank God for some fire under all of this, you know. This is like a fantastic piece of cookware here. These three cards, which I always admire. Something really expensive and nice. And now we got some fire under it. So the overall energy, you know, think of this as a spiritual victory. Think of this as uh, maybe our guides and angels. You know, um, um, I'd like to think 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 this of the six of wands, and then think of the chariot, and make it a big spiritual victory because that's what the chariot is. Like the six of wands, the accolades, you know, the laurels, um, but in a spiritual sense and now the outcome geez guys all pinnacles and the two of pinnacles now the two of pinnacles I don't think is deciding something here um, it it could come into it but mainly this is about balance you know to think of the yin yang but really being balanced guys the six of pinnacles three of pinnacles that's the challenge and the challenge, I think, is like dissolution. It's like we've got the train going, and we feel the momentum, and it's, you know, and we don't want to mess with it. I, that's how I feel. It's like, uh, I don't, you know, uh, yeah, maybe, you know, it could collaborate and be great, uh, but maybe it'll derail this train. Um, but Spirit's coming in saying, you got this. The train is the train. There ain't nothing going to derail it. And in the outcome we end up being very balanced again I said this is a personal reading when I started this is all about us has nothing to do with another person for that look please at your sign I have the heart spread if you have someone on your mind and also have now the singles read meet the soulmate if you're completely and totally single um, every sign every week starting with Aries and Taurus today on Mondays always so I like this for us, guys. There's a lot of personal energy here. It's all personal energy. Um, I feel like we're kind of, um, you know, we have a spirit guide, maybe particularly, who's very proud of us. And, you know, if, if it's possible, maybe they're gushing with pride, you know, over what we've done. It's very solid. This, guys, you can't take this away. This uh, stays. This is, is solid spiritually, uh, you know, upgrading to a new level that, that, that sticks, that holds. I like it. Thank you, guys.